There's nothing quite as beautiful as having an animal companion to share your home with. But for some people, traditional pets such as dogs and cats don't just cut it. Instead, they need something exotic. Wait. Go. While not all exotic animals are suitable as pets, some of them can make wonderful companions if cared for properly. In this video, we'll show you some of the cutest exotic animals that you can own as pets. From fluffy hedgehogs to playful sugar gliders, these animals are sure to capture your heart and provide you with years of joy and companionship. So let's take a closer look at some of the most adorable exotic pets you can bring into your home. Let's dive right in. Number 20, Chinchillas. To start us off, we have the undeniably adorable Chinchilla. Chinchillas are playful, exotic pets that can be amazing addition to your home as they take up very little space. Give them the proper diet, a home, and a warm, draft-free area, they'll bow right in. Chinchillas are affectionate pets but can sometimes be shy and may not enjoy being handled, so it's best not to touch them all the time. They get a little cranky. Don't ask how I know, I just know these things. The best part about owning a chinchilla is that it's a clean animal that is relatively odor-free. These guys don't even require much grooming. Just add some dust in their bath bowl and marvel as they clean themselves up. It's such a beautiful sight. Chinchillas are crepuscular, meaning they tend to be more active during the twilight hours at dawn and dusk. One thing to look out for when raising one is the humidity of their habitat, as they're native to cool and dry habitats. Once the humidity increases, your buddy won't be able to cool effectively, and heat stroke is a major issue with these guys. Number 19. Sugar Gliders From cute eyes, fluffy coats, and a cool Batman-like glider, sugar gliders are super cute tree-dwelling marsupials you can keep as a pet. Sugar gliders got their name from their habitat of feeding on nectarious foods, but it wouldn't be too out of place to say it's because of how smooth these little lads glide. It's like watching skydiving. Their gliders are made of thin skin membranes from both sides of their body. Baby sugar gliders called joeys are the cutest, especially when they fall asleep in your palm while gently stroking their heads. Sugar gliders are closely related to koalas, which explains where they got their cuteness. Further, they're easy to keep as they're small and thrive on companionship. Your sugar glider would be affectionate when socialized and do better with a mate. However, they're high-maintenance pets as they're very messy, can't be house-trained, and are illegal to own in some places. Did I also mention that they bite when threatened? So yeah, those are things you have to put up with if you take up the commitment of owning one. Number 18. Short-tailed opossums the short-tailed opossum is a smaller version of the regular opossums in your backyard, playing dead or hissing viciously. They're also marsupials, but without the pouch. Short-tailed opossums are related to wallabies, koalas, and sugar gliders, so they've also got that cuteness box checked. They're also omnivores and would eat almost anything humans eat. However, unlike the sugar glider, the short-tailed opossum is a low-maintenance animal that loves its space. Therefore, it's best to house it alone in a nice, spacious gerbil enclosure that's got stuff like exercise wheels, hamster water bottles, and a cozy bed. On top of that, as these guys are very good escape artists, the enclosure, as well as your house, must be escape-proof. That being said, short-tailed opossums are gentle, sweet, friendly, and can be easily trained. Number 17. Prairie Dogs Prairie dogs are affectionate little critters of the squirrel family, typically born in the spring. These fluffballs are social and are best raised in pairs with a regular supply of snuggles, belly rubs, petting, and affection from their owners. They earned their moniker for their habitat and warning calls which sound like a dog's bark or as though they're saying, Yoo-hoo! Puppy! I also think their cute tail and obsessive love for attention also played a part in earning that name. Once out of their cage, prairie dogs are known to make those calls as if to say good morning. They're easy to maintain, friendly, and love exercise during their active hours. For all their cute and cuddliness, prairie dogs are known to be territorial towards strangers or people they weren't raised around. Number 16. Hermit Crabs 
While fluffy and furry might melt the hearts of many, the hermit crab holds it down as one of the cutest crustaceans you can own as a pet, and they've been around for a while. They make no noise and trigger absolutely no allergies, making them one for those with allergies. Unlike what you'd expect with animals with pincers, hermit crabs are very calm, docile critters that rarely pinch. Also, they're social and can be reared together in a spacious tank or an aquarium. Since they can walk on dry land, creating an ideal home shouldn't be much of a problem. After setting up their abode with shells, sea sand, pebbles, cool hideout spots, and fresh water to drink and wet their gills, you can occasionally sprinkle salt water for humidity. You could also paint your favorite things on the beautiful canvas-like shells to keep things interesting. Hermit crabs can be so much to watch, but they have a knack for hiding away while you try to spot them. Number 15. Fennec Foxes if you ever fantasized about owning a fox but were too concerned about its size and wild side, the fennec fox is an option you should consider. Fennec foxes are smaller versions of their larger counterparts. A fennec fox is about the size of a chihuahua, and they kind of look alike but with bigger ears. These incredibly cute tiny critters are formidable hunters in the wild and can be very difficult to maintain when in the house. They're very messy, chewy, and hard to potty train. Also, as adorable as they might seem, fennec foxes are illegal to own in some states. Ideally, a fennec fox needs a lot of socialization to get used to being around people. I know I said they look like chihuahuas, but shouldn't be taken off leash to the park or for a walk. They're needy lovers who always want their owner's company and wouldn't mind snuggling with you all day long. It also helps to have them in pairs. While most owners like to keep them in a large, caged enclosure, others opt to house train them like a cat. Number 14. Millipedes One of the cutie crawlies you could own as a pet is the millipede. These adorable, docile, quiet critters don't need much to get by daily. Millipedes are definitely not a pet for everyone, but they're very easy to take care of as they don't pass pee and poop everywhere and take up minimal space. That said, millipedes need certain substrates and the right amount of heating and lighting elements to keep the temperature and humidity right. While you might not be able to walk them with a leash, bigger species like this guy can crawl over you as you guys spend quality time together. African millipedes are the most commonly sold millipede species as a pet, and they can measure up to 12 inches in length. Likewise, millipedes for sure don't eat as much as your cat or finnick fox. Number 13. Axolotls Axolotl is not just an exotic pet because of how few people own it, but because it's an aquatic salamander. Salamanders are cute, but an aquatic one? That's insanely cool! This cute critter can be gotten at pet stores that specialize in fish. Axolotls are great for first-time pet owners, as they're easy to care for and won't go around messing things up around your place. I mean, they only live in their tanks, and they're cute animals with a freaking ability to regenerate a lost limb. Who can say no to such a cute yawn and a face that always has a smile on? And if the adult axolotl doesn't melt your heart, meet a baby axolotl. All the axolotl needs to be a colorful addition to your home is a small tank filled with fresh water and a strong filter. Then you must regularly change their water, clean their tank, and give them the right food. Number 12. Daegu's what do you get when you somehow get to cross a guinea pig and a hamster? A daegu, of course. I'm pretty sure you saw the title. They've got fuzzy fur and rat-like face. Unlike other pocket pets, daegus are diurnal, meaning they're more active during the day when you want to play and not run on the ferret wheel at night while you're trying to sleep. These adorable little guys are social, so it's best to raise them in pairs of the same sex. You see, keeping the opposite sex together will lead to a massive tegu's population explosion as they breed and rapidly produce litters of up to eight babies at a time. Tegus don't mind sharing their homes with ferrets or rats, so if you've had any of these guys previously, you can also introduce tegus to the mix. After all, they all use the same accessories and toys. Tegus are gentle and love a good scratch just below their necks. However, they're escape artists and can shoot through plastic cages to run loose. Number 11. Hedgehogs Sonic may be too fast for you to tame, but you can still own a hedgehog, provided they're legal to own in your state. These guys are neither rodents nor related to porcupines, in case you're wary of spikes. 
Hedgehogs are one of the easiest exotic pets to have, as even a kid can raise them. Hedgies, if you choose to call them that, are not social, so you can have one and not worry about them being subjected to separation anxiety. These happy campers are sweet, quiet pets that require a lot of interaction to be happy. Hedgies don't shed much and don't need a lot of grooming. They have a habit of curling up when touched but can be trained to accept handling with gentle persistence and can poop a lot, so be sure to keep an eye on them when you let them out of their cage. Number 10. Ball Pythons Reptile lovers aren't left out of owning an exotic pet too. The ball python is affectionately known to be a colorful, beautiful pet with longevity to match. They're also wonderful around kids, but be sure not to leave your kids unsupervised with them as they don't like being poked or manhandled. However, ball pythons have to be socialized early enough to adapt to human interactions. Ball pythons are regarded as the most docile and easiest snake species to own. Kids should also not be allowed to feed them as this is a very serious business for ball pythons. In fact, feeding your ball python would be your greatest challenge. Ball pythons are picky eaters and may refuse food from time to time, which could lead to emaciation. Another thing to note is the requirement for their cage. Their enclosure requires the right amount of heat, basking areas, and proper humidity. Number 9. Tarantulas Another fascinating exotic pet option is the tarantula. Definitely, people with arachnophobia wouldn't see it that way. Tarantulas are actually low-maintenance pets and are awesome for a couple of reasons. Firstly, they don't require a lot of space, and like the millipede, there's very little cleaning to do with these guys. Secondly, tarantulas don't need much attention or exercise to stay happy. Just feed them supplemented insects, and they're good to go. Lastly, they typically need to be fed every other day, making them ideal pets for those who travel often. Contrary to popular belief, tarantulas are not aggressive or venomous, but you've got to be careful while handling them as they bite and release a mildly toxic venom that feels like a bee sting. You could use them to scare your conventional friends, though. But hey, you didn't hear that from us. Number 8. Hyacinth Macaws Next up is the hyacinth macaw, an adorable, colorful bird that makes an amazing pet in the right home. And by the right home, I mean one with a large cage and experienced pet owners who can engage with the bird daily. Hyacinth macaws are the largest of the macaw family, and these big beautiful birds can be a handful as they require a large space to move about and tend to be destructive as they use their curved hard beaks to bite into things. Aside from that, you have a highly intelligent, adorable, gentle giant that will dote over you constantly. Their lovely blue color and affectionate personality make them the star attraction in your home. Still, their large size means they can be intimidating to those who dread being bitten by a bird. Number 7. Bearded Dragons Not to worry, these guys don't breathe fire and neither do they keep facial hair. But they have spikes under their chin that can puff up to indicate their feelings. You really don't want to see them angry. Luckily, beardies don't get angry often and are one of the easiest lizards to have as pets. They're known to be docile and friendly, making them a good fit for beginner lizard owners. They also do well with kids that have been taught how to handle them. Bearded dragons are relatively small lizards and don't grow to a huge size like others. Hence, an adequate size enclosure with an aquarium would suffice. Although very rare, some beardies have been taught to come on command and perform other tasks for treats. Check out this guy! It is, however, essential to note that they need a low humidity environment to survive. Whether on car rides or your shoulder or on a leash, these guys are ready to go everywhere with their owners. Number 6. Leopard Geckos Another reptile you should consider owning is the leopard gecko. Geckos are generally popular exotic lizards that come in different colors and types. Still, the leopard gecko is one of the most famous thanks to its striking pattern and friendly demeanor. These guys are great pets for small apartments, as they can do well in a smaller tank. Interestingly, they only need a tank with a regulated temperature and don't require special UV lighting like other reptiles. They're very easy to handle and are one of the few exotic lizards that thrive on human interaction. But be sure to wash your hands after handling them as they can transmit salmonella to you. Number 5. Chipmunks 
Anyone who's seen the Alvin and the Chipmunks movies knows how adorable they are. But don't expect the chipmunk you pick up from an animal shelter or your backyard to be the next big thing in Hollywood. However, be careful. They might make you social media famous like this guy. While those who've been opportune to own one can attest to how amazing they are as pets, this squirrel species pet requires a lot of space for an animal their size as they're a bundle of energy and require regular playtime and exercise day and night. However, they're not the best pet for handling but are way more interesting than the typical hamster. Wild chipmunks can also get familiar and warm towards humans that feed them every day. It's like recognizing the sound of an ice cream truck. Check out how these guys run towards their human friend who feeds them daily. Wait. Go. Number 4. Marmosets Oh, look at those cute little monkeys! Marmosets are a monkey species that can be as tiny as your fingers when young, making them so cute your heart would melt. Marmosets are considered the most commonly kept primate species as they're smaller than their primate counterparts. But owning one can be so much work and requires commitment over a long period. Owning a marmoset has been likened to raising a toddler. As highly intelligent critters, marmosets have been known to require constant stimulation, like playing with toys or exercising outdoors. Also, these tropical animals require a warm climate and meal specifications close to what they have in their natural habitats to survive. They're social animals that fare better in numbers. They also love human interactions but shouldn't be taken out to stores or parks as they can easily contract human diseases like colds, especially when they're under a year old. In all, marmosets are interesting pets for those who can manage the stress of owning one. Number 3. Slow Lorises Another exotic pet many fantasize about having is the slow loris because of how cute they are especially those eyes. However, slow lorises aren't great pets. Not only are they more on the wild side, but they're also venomous. And in cases where their teeth have been removed to domesticate them, research shows that isn't the best practice for these poor guys. <laughs> Furthermore, slow lorises are nocturnal animals that love sleeping the whole afternoon but those that own them would want to interact during these periods. Research also shows that they don't like being tickled, even when they may appear to enjoy it. We simply mistake their self-defense mechanism as a show of fun. Number 2. Sloths Who wouldn't want a pet too slow to reach a houseplant, let alone eat it? I know I would. Sloths are cute, docile animals that make for amazing pets. However, these slow-moving animals require a great deal of care and very specific foods to live with you with no complications. I even feel slow talking about these guys. <laughs> Pun intended. Unlike slow lorises, owning a sloth, the two-toed sloth in particular, in certain states is illegal. However, you should also know that a sloth would prefer hanging from a branch or in their cage to hanging out with humans. So you should slow down with the cuddling, petting, and handling. Further, sloths generally maintain their natural instincts and don't enjoy being bathed or groomed, but you can make them, especially for medical reasons. After all, the only thing cuter than a dry baby sloth is a wet one. Before we move on to our last pick, we have a quick challenge that'll just take 5 seconds to complete. So here's the deal. Leave us a like, smash that subscribe button, and turn on notifications and you'll win 10 years of incredible luck. Try it! It actually works! And number one, meerkats. Meerkats can be so darn cute, especially when they stand on their hind legs. But have you seen their young? Baby meerkats have irresistibly cute eyes and innocence that can give a kitten a run for its money. Like Timon from the Lion King animation, meerkats give off the Hakuna Matata vibe when you're out chilling in the park. They're legal to own in some countries, but are illegal in the United States. Meerkats have more dominant primitive traits, but that doesn't make them harmful to humans. But it means they must be provided with an environment similar to their natural habitat to be happy. A meerkat can be housed in a cage or allowed to roam freely around the house, depending on how much time you have to look out for these critters. And that's it for today's video. Which animal is your favorite? Be sure to let us know in the comments section below. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next one.